Okay, Velvet, this is your before shot. Still looking pretty rough. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cherish Doll Friends. She's in the middle of her makeover. I'm gonna start with Q-tip and a little bit of alcohol on the eyeballs. What happened to your hair here, Missy? We gotta get this sorted out. friends and I have my Chrissy family of dolls with me today. You can see the three in the background. I've got two Chrissy dolls and a velvet and look at this poor girl in the chair. I found her at Value Village recently and I just thought she was so cute in this little lavender dress and she's got her little underwear that matches and this is velvet here and actually her name is velvet but look at her hair <laughs> and she only has one shoe which i don't even think is original to this outfit because it really doesn't match in fact i think this could be a homemade outfit um it fits her perfectly it was probably made from an actual chrissy velvet pattern uh, by a mother uh, or a really good sewer. I'm not sure. I didn't see a tag inside. I'll look again when I take her dress off. But her hair is quite tousled and her eyes are a little bit grimy. She has a little bit of that mildew situation in her eyes. She's a little bit dirty. So yeah, we need to get her cleaned up and looking good so she can join the rest of the family. So join me while we do a little bit of dolly cleanup. So I have Velvet in the chair and she's all ready for her makeover. I think the first thing I'll do is just brush out her hair um, and then I'll take off her dress and we'll get her all cleaned up. But it's good to get all the tangles out first. It's just much easier to deal with that way. So let's strap her into the chair so she's nice and secure. <laughs> this chair is made for American Girl dolls, so she's a little small for this chair, but I think it works go. So let's just see if we can get you looking a little better. Now I don't know if any of you collect these Chrissy family dolls, Velvet and beautiful Chrissy. There's several other characters in the line. I don't know the names of them all. I know there's a Tressy that has uh, black hair. They all have the growing hair mechanism where you can uh, push the belly button and make the hair grow longer. And then there's a dial at the back where you can wind it up and the hair goes in the hole in the top of the head and it grows shorter. So that is the idea. They were made, um, well, by Ideal Toys in the late 1960s, early 70s. I, I hope to find some others in the collection and then I can really um, tell you all about each one. But for now, I just have Chrissy in the back there and the orange dress was the first one that came out, I believe. Then we have Velvet in the purple dress. Uh, she's got lavender eyes and she's Chrissy's little cousin. And then the other one in the green dress is the look around Chrissy. And she has a mechanism, uh, a butterfly that you pull at the back and her upper torso kind of rocks back and forth as if she's looking around. So um, mine actually doesn't work. And this one was supposed to work. When I bought her, she was apparently in working order but when I got her home and pulled the little butterfly out it got stuck right away so I was a little disappointed about that so yeah I've got those three I have another one downstairs that is for sale and um, she has a different outfit on I didn't bother bringing her up because she's I don't really consider her part of my collection anymore because she's gonna be sold soon but this one is really cute and if she turns out, I think I'm going to keep her because I like the idea of having two Chrissies and two Velvets. Uh, then they can each have their little cousin counterpart. There's so many different layers in this hair. It almost looks like somebody cut it. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to get that blended in. I have restored a few Chrissy dolls and one Velvet. 
and their hair seems to be you know really good quality for being made so many years ago the hair was really meant to last because i've seen so many restoration videos and when you do the right stuff if you brush it and wash it and sometimes even boil rinse it you can look at the shine is already starting to come back on that hair it's a little bit dry and frizzy on the bottom so i'm not sure if i'm going to try a boil rinse or not i've never actually done it myself so it's tempting to try yeah her hair isn't too bad sometimes you get pieces that get stuck up around the ponytail area where it goes into the the hole yeah my sister and i had beautiful Chrissy and Velvet dolls when we were a kid. I had Chrissy, I was the older sister, and my little sister had Velvet, and I guess we, to us, they were the sister dolls, even though they actually are cousins. And I actually gave her a Velvet doll as an adult a couple of years ago for Christmas, just as kind of a reminder of our childhood. She doesn't really collect dolls or play dolls like I do, but she still appreciates it. And, you know, as a little sister, she always seemed to enjoy, you know, having everything that big sister had. So it's always fun to share with her and, and bring back those childhood memories. You can get sewing patterns for them, make great outfits. I'm probably gonna stop talking so that I can speed this up for you. So I don't bore you with Very pretty. Oh, she's getting some static electricity now. <laughs> Are you in there? <laughs> okay, I think we're going to unstrap her. I'll give you a closer look. <laughs> so she's pretty cute. They've got the open and close eyes. She's got long eyelashes. You might be able to see the mildew in her eyes, if I can get up close enough. I'm sure we can wash that out with a, um, a cotton swab and some alcohol. And we're gonna wash her hair. And she does look like a good candidate for a boil wash actually, so I think I might try it. So I just finished watching a couple of videos on fixing these girls up actually. And one was with Alison Hernandez from Munica's Poupées and Dolls. And she has a couple of really good videos on her channel about fixing up a Chrissy. And I think hers was a cinnamon doll. Another channel I was watching earlier today, Stevie Aaron, he posts a lot of videos on his channel about fixing up Chrissy dolls. And he's very good at taking them all apart taking their eyes out, taking their hair grow mechanisms out. He shows you how to take the button, belly buttons out and, and take the tails out of the top of the head. So he's a very good resource for uh, fixing up Chrissy dolls if you ever wanna learn more about it. I would definitely go see Stevie Aaron's channel. Okay, Velvet, this is your before shot. Still looking pretty rough. <laughs> So here's her little panties um, that match the dress. And here was the little dress she was wearing. And it is very well made and adorable, but I can tell from the back that it's definitely, you know, a hand sewn piece. It's not, it doesn't have a tag. Um, so this was likely sewn from one of the many patterns that are available for the Chrissy and Velvet dolls. So I think it's really sweet and I'm really happy I found her in this outfit. Just to quickly show you, if you're not familiar with these dolls, I have shown this in a previous video when I cleaned up my Chrissy's, um, but this is the mechanism for the hair. She's got a dial on the back and a button, her belly button at the front. So right now her hair is out. And if I turn this dial here, you can see the hair going up. 
So it goes up to about that length there. And then when it's smoother, it just gives a shorter <laughs> hairstyle. It'll look much better when she's all cleaned up, but that's the idea. And then we push her belly button and pull the hair out to make it long again. Voila, that's how that works. So let's get her all cleaned up and get her hair washed and see if she actually needs a boil wash after that. Okay, I think I have everything that we need, everybody. So we've got our doll, Velvet, and she's had her hair brushed just to get the tangles out. And I've got a little bit of rubbing alcohol and we're gonna use toothpicks with a little bit of paper towel to get into the little crevices of her eyes and her lips. And then I've just got some shampoo and conditioner that I already had on hand that we'll use. And I've got towels here, magic eraser, wire doll brush. I also have a little baby comb that I use sometimes as well. So I think I have everything to get started. I think the first thing I wanna do is clean her body and her eyes and then we'll wash her hair. So I'm just gonna work away here and let you watch and um, we'll see how this goes. I haven't done this in a while, so start with some more water, get a bath going. <laughs> there we go. Now we're all ready for her bath. <laughs> Oh, some extra light here. There we go, that's a bit better. Get her hair wet too. Okay. I think I'll start with the magic eraser on her face. So you do have to be careful. Um, this is like a very fine sandpaper and it can take off face paint if you're not careful, like eyebrows and eyelashes. So I go very, very gently with the magic eraser on the face. She she is not extremely dirty. She's a little dirty and dusty, but I think she's just been sitting around in someone's basement for a while. So she just has surface dust and a little bit of clay dirt. Nothing too severe. Well, actually, there's a little bit of black coming off there. She's got really cute blushing on her cheeks, so I don't want to wipe that off either. and get a q-tip and try and get the mildew out of her eyes. I'm going to start with q-tip and a little bit of alcohol on the eyeballs but I'm going to be very careful because this can actually take off the paint as well so if there's any eyelashes painted on yeah she see she's got little eyelashes painted just on the corners of her eyes here so I'm going to be very careful not to touch the alcohol. I can see already why Allison suggested using the paper towel and the toothpick because it's really hard to get right up in there in the crevices. So let's try that. So I have a little bit of paper towel here. We'll get a toothpick out of here. Which is much pointier than a Q-tip. So we just wrap it around like that so you get a soft little point and I'm just going to dump a little bit of alcohol in the lid of my container. 
container here and dip it in. See if I can get closer. It's on there pretty good. I don't know if it's, it may be scratched. It might just take a while for that to dissolve. It's hard to see what I'm doing. It's slowly dissolving that mildew. I'm just kind of working at it gently. It's almost as if the alcohol has to spend some time on there to dissolve it that bacteria or whatever is going on there to cause that mildew. I hope her eyelashes aren't going to come off. Apparently you can eye swap these dolls too. I don't know if I would ever do that myself, but I suppose in this case, if I spoiled her eyes somehow, I might have to do something. No, I don't think I'm going to spoil her eyes, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all of that out. You know what? I'm going to try a small toothbrush, that might work. I just happen to have one right here. Small little gentle scrubbing motions, just like you would on your teeth. <laughs> that is many years of grime in there. Sometimes these things take patience, which luckily I have a lot of. It's definitely looking better. I think there's still a tiny bit, just the very top. I'm gonna keep working away at it. I don't wanna give up yet, it's so close. That's the best I can do for now. I might try and go in a little, once it dries, I'll have a better idea if it's still showing. But her eyes look pretty clean, I think. Yeah, much better. <laughs> now we need conditioner. Okay, let's get some conditioner going in your hair. See? And this I like to put lots and then I comb it through. That's what I usually use this little baby comb for. It seems to work good at just combing the conditioner through. Oh yeah, this, this, for some reason, this conditioner seems to work quite well on the dolls. This L'Oreal Color Radiance. Sure, there are more professional products that you can use. I've always just used what I had on hand and it seems to be fine. I don't know if I'll boil wash her hair because I can already see she's got a cute little waviness to her hair, like a little flip on the bottom. That's quite adorable. And boil washing tends to make everything very straight. And uh, I like a little bit of wave on my dolls. If they have it naturally. Once I finish brushing this out, I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes with the conditioner. Let it soak in and do its job, and then we will come back and rinse it out. Look how cute she's looking. Okay, I'm just going to set her here in the sink and let that all soak in. Okay, I'm back with Miss Velvet and she's been soaking in the sink and letting that conditioner get all soaked into her hair and making it all soft. And now we're gonna rinse it out and get her back to the chair so we can brush it and let her dry. Feels a lot softer. You want to rinse the conditioner out quite well because 
conditioner left in the hair can attract dirt and mildew. It can make the hair feel greasy after a while, so it's better to rinse it as best you can, get it all out. Okay. That feels pretty good. <laughs> there she is. Let's get a towel on you. Can we do a turban? <laughs> it looks more like a bonnet. <laughs> okay, and we've got one for her body. Oh, she's cold. We have to get you to the chair.
So thanks for joining me and we'll see you tomorrow. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Cherish Doll Friends. I didn't do an intro, a proper intro before I started. So I thought I would just do a quick one now. And uh, you've seen already um, what we did with Velvet and she's in the middle of her makeover and I've cleaned her up conditioned her hair. I washed her eyes with a little bit of alcohol and a Q-tip and also a toothpick with some paper towel wrapped around it. And um, so she's all clean now. We're just waiting for her hair to dry and we will see how she turns out tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy watching me do this fix up of Velvet and she's gonna be a cute addition to my beautiful Chrissy family. So thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Hello, I'm back. It's actually a couple of nights later, and this is how Velvet is looking. <laughs> now, her hair looks really shiny. Wow, look at that. I haven't brushed it yet. Okay, here we go. Wow, so pretty. Turned out really nice. Look at that shine. It's very soft. Very soft and clean and it smells good. <sighs> She's pretty cute. I think what I'm gonna have to do is give her a hairstyle though. She turned out nice and clean. Her eyes are bright. Her paint still looks good. <laughs> yeah, she just needs a bit of a style. I might just dampen her hair and maybe put a couple, a couple of little pin curls in here and see if I can get her little ringlets back. I'm gonna put her dress on right now and see how she looks. So I did wash her little outfit, her little panties, her underwear, and her little cute little dress came out very well. So let's try this on her. Get you dressed. Oh, such a cute little outfit. Very cute doll. <laughs> she almost reminds me of Goldie Hawn. <laughs> so then you push her belly button to get her hair to grow again. So you push and at the same time pull the tail back out. And there she is, all long haired again. Okay, let's get her dress buttoned up. style her hair. Let's see. <laughs> wow. She's a cutie. I'm happy to add her to my collection. So that's Velvet after her makeover, everybody. As I said, I'm probably gonna still style her hair a little bit. I'll play around until I get her looking just the way I like, but look how shiny and clean she is. I think she had a pretty good makeover. Let's see, we could even do the hair behind the ears look and pull the hair forward. <laughs> oh, that looks so cute. She's gorgeous. 
So here we have my Chrissy family dolls. I have two Chrissies and two Velvets. And you can tell they're quite old. I've just been looking at them up close with the light. So she's starting to go a bit green in the face. That's her beautiful dress. This is the look around Chrissy and she has matching shoes. And then this is my first velvet, actually my second velvet. The first velvet I had, I gave to my little sister. She was actually even cuter than this one. She had cute little curls. And this one has her original outfit, no shoes. And then this is my most recent Chrissy that I fixed up. I thought she turned out really nice, but now look at her. She's got green here, green on the tip of her nose and above her eyebrow. Yeah, she's got some green markings on her face. I guess that's just a sign of her age. I don't think I can get that off, but she's got her original dress and shoes. And actually this one has, I showed it in the other video when I fixed her up. She has a bit of a broken finger here unfortunately. <laughs> and here's our newest little velvet and she looks cute as a button. She turned out really good, nice and clean and shiny. And the only thing is with her eyes, I did notice, see if I can zoom in a bit. It's not as easy to see on camera, but her eyeballs are scratched a little bit. That one on the right, you can see it's a bit scratched and even the one on the left, just at the very top underneath the eye, eyelashes, couldn't quite get all of the mildew and scratching off. So her eyes aren't in great shape, but it's only up close that you can really notice it. Like from here, she looks super cute. They all do. I think they're beautiful dolls. Thank you for watching everybody. And please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Fixing up dolls is one of my favorite things to do and I love to share it with you. Hope to see you all again really soon. Bye for now.